So we're going to look at how height is represented on an OS map. This is through contours and spot heights. Contours are represented by small orange lines that flow around the Ordnance Survey map. Each line represents a height above sea level. There is a new contour line every 5 or 10 metres. Some of them have numbers on, but not every one. Where there are lots of contours close together, it means the land is getting steeper. Where there are no contours and areas of white, that means the land is flat. What it does is it enables you to visualise the shape of the land. So here we have a picture of Mel Fell looking towards the southeast, and you will be able to hopefully visualise that shape in your head on the map. Contours also show the direction of the slope. So the way the numbers are written shows the direction in which the slope is facing. To visualise a contour, you might want to do a cross section. That involves taking the contours every, uh, every point and visualising them in a 3D view. This will then help you get to see the shape of the hill. The other area that we can find heights on a map is by looking at spot heights. These are little black numbers that appear and show certain heights of various features on the map. Now, here's a challenge. Where was this photo taken? Was it taken at A, B, C or D? You might want to pause the video to work it out and then in a moment I'm going to tell you the answer. Okay, so the answer is A. And the reason the answer is A is because you can see on the photo we have a V-shaped valley so the contours come down to one point and then up in the up to the other side of the path. You also have in the distance on the distance on the uh, photo a small hill. If you were at Bill B there is no small hill. However you're looking forward at A you can see that you've got Barrow here in the distance. So the answer is A. Now I hope you've enjoyed that and I hope you understand a little bit more about contours and spot heights.